year for the Z Fold 4, right? But they'll yeah. do it with a higher mega. Hopefully they can get it to a higher megapixel count. So it won't be, it, people will be more receptive to it, you know? Right. I'm going to share here um, 2023 iPhones again mm. rumored to include 10 times zoom periscope lens. Um, I don't know how I feel about this just because I've seen 10 times zoom on like Samsung phones. Right. And it doesn't look that great. So, no, it doesn't. <laughs> I, I don't know. Like, so it says here Apple's. Were, Working on the biggest upgrade yet for the for the telephoto zoom lens, according to Jeff Fu, uh, fifty three point three percent accurate. So again, <laughs> take that with a very uh, small grain of salt. At Pound least, salt. One, yeah, at least one new iPhone releasing in twenty twenty three is said to include this new ten times zoom lens that will allow users to optically zoom without losing quality. We first heard about a Periscope lens coming to iPhone from Ming Tree Co. That is 75.9% accurate. Uh, what is a Periscope lens? Uh, essentially, it takes a longer zoom lens that normally would make the phone unreasonably thick and places it sideways using a mirror or prism to reflect what is what it sees into the camera center. Uh, there's an image that illustrates it above and a really helpful video from Samsung below. I never I never saw it visualized like this before. Actually makes sense. This is the path to seriously increase, increasing optical zoom in smartphones. Yeah. It's so, really cool technology if you look at it. So they literally just taking, you know, how normally telephoto lens, like say a sports photographer with a DSLR would go out, right? So yeah. the idea is you're turning it, you're literally just taking that that lens and you're turning it sideways and putting it in the back of the the, the phone that way. So it's it's doing it's guess it's going, I think it's sort of going like this instead of going yeah. like this, it's going like this inside the inside the uh inside the phone and it's reflected back through like they say a prism. So it doesn't. It can keep a relatively thin phone um, and still have that zoom. You know, lot, hopefully, relatively lossless. You know, right, right. Relatively lossless quality. But like you say, a do people need or want that on a on a phone? And b, you know, there again, like you say with Apple, I think if they do do it, the implementation will be really, really good, right? Okay. The question is, will they raise prices? You know, uh, on the pro I'm assuming to probably be on the pro models only, right? To start, yeah. I would think possibly right, and yeah. you know, again, the people is, is is do people need or want it? You know, you're you're already yeah. saying you don't, you're not convinced, right? So, and you're a big yeah. Apple guy, so yeah, yeah, I, I don't yeah. know. It, it's going to be interesting to see. Um, I mean, if if anything, if they are working on it, I don't, I definitely don't think it's going to be on the iPhone 14, maybe 15 or 16, but definitely not 14. You know, so, yeah, I, mean, I agree. 2023 yeah. at the earliest, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I think that, um, you know, they, they're going to need a few years before anything. 